What's going on, Internet? It is your boy, Eric Banholtz, back again with another awesome episode from Beard Brand. I hope all is going well on the other side of the Internet. want to talk to you a little bit about why my room is different. If you guys didn't know or you missed it on my last video, I have moved to Austin, Texas. Uh, there's a great opportunity for us to pick any city that we wanted to, and we picked Austin. Uh, my wife now works out of home, and, and of course with Beard Brand, we've built that to be location independent. But really what I want to talk about is this process is a very uncomfortable process. Uh, the whole process of moving, packing up your house, selling your house, uh, leaving great friends behind, leaving a great city behind, and striving to better yourself, uh, better your opportunity, and uh, really give potential to, to greater growth is really important to becoming a better person. Now, not what I'm not saying is moving to Austin is going to make you a better person. For us, personally, I think it will make us better. Uh, it will give us more opportunities. But what I'm trying to say is, in life, as we get older, we hit a lot of comfort zones. And we find that uh, the easy thing is the comfortable thing. And once we get into that comfort level, then we stop pushing ourselves. We stop growing as individuals. And it's important as a beardsman or as any person in general to grow outside of that comfort level. You have to put yourself out for risk. You have to put yourself out for failure um, to see the greater reward for what your full potential is as an individual. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean moving. It could be you know, not settling for the job you're currently at, seeking to start a, a new career, or maybe starting your own business, or taking an art class, or learning a foreign language, or it could be any of these things that you're going to fail at, and you're going to fail at hard, and it's going to be difficult, and it's going to be challenging. But the only way you're going to grow in life is if you put yourself out in a position to fail. Because... When you cut yourself down, it builds on that. It's very similar to lifting. When you lift weights, what you're actually doing is you're tearing your muscles. And that healing process is what's making your muscles stronger. So when you put yourself out there to fail, and you do fail because you will fail, you're actually building strength in your abilities. You're building yourself to be a more uh, dynamic individual. And it's the same pushing comfort levels. That is the same process with growing a beard. For many guys who have never grown a beard before in their life, it's a very comfortable thing to have a beardless face or to have a very short, you know, five o'clock shadow beard or, or a week long beard. But it takes you outside of that comfort level to grow a fuller, thicker beard, you know, because people are going to comment and our people are going to be uh, seeing you in a different light. And if you don't want to grow a beard, that's cool. You know, that's your cup of tea. But if you want to grow a beard and you're not sure about it and you're uncomfortable and you don't know what people are going to think about it, then it's time to step outside of that. It's time to say, I want to improve as a man. And one of the steps to improving is for me to grow a beard. And it's going to make me uncomfortable and I'm going to get some criticism. I'm going to get some negative feedback. Um, but it's also what I want to do as an individual. And me going through this experience of growing my facial hair out to whatever length I determine. It could be a two-week beard for someone who's never grown a beard. It could be a two-year beard for someone who's grown a year-long beard. But whatever it is, it's pushing yourself to that uncomfortable level. So I challenge you guys, as you warm up, bid welcome to my new set. Um, you can't see all my boxes. We're not done unpacking yet. To... Push your limits to improve yourself, to continue to learn, to get better, and become a better beardsman. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Cheers. And beard on.